These women and children left their homes and everything they own as they fled the violent conflict in the Ye region of South Sudan. They have sought sanctuary with other displaced families in temporary settlements in the relative safety of the town itself. Just 160 kilometres to the north, in the capital Juba, political leaders and foreign dignitaries joined about 100,000 people for an extravagant ceremony marking the recent signing of a new peace deal. But the people of Ye are yet to feel the benefits of peace as fierce clashes continue between armed groups, fighting for territorial control in the area. People are rejoicing, meanwhile we are in agony, we are suffering, we are crying. So we wish that peace will come also to Ye, so that we enjoy like the rest of the world. Before fresh fighting flared up in October, the area had experienced a lull in the violence, which encouraged thousands of people to return from their hiding places in the bush or from refugee camps in Uganda and the Congo. They hoped to make a fresh start. Instead, they are again caught in the crossfire. They come from the bushes, some of them are raped, they come here when they are tired, they are too sick, they don't have a proper medication to be attended to. And then also our women here, they face a problem of like our internal people, like the soldiers in the area. Some of them, they go safety, they go and they steal the little that they have in their houses. So they steal them or they beat them up. Some of them, they kill their children. They really feel a lot of pain. More than a thousand of those affected gathered to share their stories with the head of the United Nations mission in South Sudan. The mission has established a new base in Ye to provide a protective presence and help build peace. The peace celebrations were it was a wonderful day, it was a great day, but there are places in the country where the war goes on and in, the, uh, in and around Ye where there are multiple factions fighting each other, uh, the fighting is going on. Uh, and what we've got to be able to do is to try and create a presence and a stability down there that will enable people to get back and onto their homes. The impact of the war, as well as bad weather, is taking a huge toll. About 20% of all South Sudan's food supply used to come from this region. But the insecurity and heavy rains have destroyed crops and roads, contributing to a grim economic situation for a region that was once flourishing. We do not want our state to be used as a war theatre by those who either are against the peace agreement or are not satisfied with it. Our people have suffered enough and their plight should end and soonest. For the people of Ye, signing a peace deal is easy. They want to see concrete action so that the next generation can look forward to a more peaceful and prosperous future.